Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing more Mortal Kombat Deception, this time, Conquest Mode. Now, Conquest Mode of Mortal Kombat Deception is, without a doubt, the most requested thing that I play. The amount of requests I get to play this is out of control. So today, I'm finally going to do it. What is Conquest Mode? Well, basically, it's an RPG game set in the Mortal Kombat universe, and it is fucking great. It's huge, it will take you quite a while to complete, especially if you plan on doing all the side missions and finding all the chests and so on. For these walkthrough videos, I will be showing you guys how to complete every single side mission. I will show you how to unlock the secret characters, how to unlock alternate costumes for the characters, and how to unlock the puzzle fighter characters. Oops, let me press start here. We don't want to watch that. Yeah, so I don't really give a shit about showing you guys where the stages are that you can unlock or random bullshit like concept art and shitty videos. I don't really care about that. It's mainly just the secret characters you can unlock, which I'll show you guys how to find and the alternate costumes for the characters and the puzzle fighter characters. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into conquest mode. Here we go. Shang Tsung, I will win the Mortal Kombat tournament and free Earthrealm from your tyranny. Is that so? Then it seems I will need a stronger opponent to defeat the great Kung Lao. Goro, fight! <laughs> Shuchinko, you have arrived. Let us begin. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the start of conquest mode, and the first thing we need to do is train with this miserable fuck, Bowrai Cho. Look at him. You have a long way to go, but every step is a victory. Ugh, even hearing him speak just makes me sick. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Yeah. Why does he have to accentuate every word? Just fucking speak like a normal person. God, get used to it because we're going to be speaking to this guy a hell of a lot. Tapping toward or away from your opponent will guide your movements. Your first exercise will be to step toward me three times, then step away from me three times. Let's do that. Pretty basic. Do not assume that offensiveness is always the correct path to victory. A hasty retreat can give you the space you need to plan your next attack. Yep. By quickly tapping twice away from your opponent, you can perform a backward dash. Put distance between us by performing three backward dashes away from me. So this is just all basic bullshit we're learning right now. That's not rocket science. Ah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
No a fighting style like you would know yourself. Let no attribute escape you. Try to strike me once with four different basic attacks to understand their unique characteristics. So basically you just got to hit each button, you know, square, triangle, X, circle. Correct. Correct. Better be correct. Often you can perform different attacks with the same button by pressing in a direction at the same time. For example, pressing towards your opponent while attacking will execute a different attack. Now, Shujinko, strike me with each of your high punch attacks. God, this is just pathetic. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh dear. Next, Shujinko. I will show you attack variations. Some attacks can be executed by combining the directional buttons and an attack button. These attacks will often strike your opponent in different locations. In the Mantis fighting style, the X button will initiate an attack to your opponent's chest. However, by holding back an X, you will attack at your opponent's knees. Strike me with each of your high and low attacks, okay? Oh, very nice. Very easy. A mixture of high and low attacks can overcome the defenses of even the most determined foe. Except the fucking bullshit AI in this game. Strike me with two high attacks and two low attacks. Alright. Mission complete, there we go. So that is the first training session with Bo Rai Cho complete. There will be many more to come. And so this is basically what Conquest Mode looks like. You're thrust into this Mortal Kombat universe. At the moment we're in Earthrealm. As you can see it says there in the bottom right corner of the screen. And in the top left we have a compass. In the top right we have the day, the date and the time. Now I just want to quickly do something here. See that red coin there? Watch. Look at that. Fucking Ermac. Look at him. And he just disappears. That's going to happen a hell of a lot in this game. Trust me. You'll just see lots of weird shit playing through conquest mode. Okay, so who we're playing as is a guy called Chujinko. Just a young kid who is starting to learn martial arts from Bo Rai Cho because he wants to be the champion of Mortal Kombat or some fucking shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'll go through the buttons for Conquest Mode. So if you press Square, you can attack. If you press X, that will interact with people. So let's talk to this guy here. Hello. How are you? We have a temple here in the village. When you have proven yourself to us, you will be allowed to enter. How do I prove myself? You must speak to the guards at the temple gate. Okay, I will speak with them. Goodbye. That's actually interesting what he said, because it's fucking bullshit. When I've proven myself, I can enter the temple. Maybe that means when I've completed the game, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's how you talk to people, you just press X. If you press the triangle button, that will bring up your inventory. It'll show you how many coins you have and what you actually have in your inventory. At the moment, I've got nothing. If you press R1, this brings up the map. Now I need to explain this map, it's very important. Okay, so actually let me get out of this for a second. See in the top left how it's got A6? That means where you're currently standing. So if you look at this map here, it's sort of like a grid. Okay, forget about the water on the left with the rocks. Just focus on the actual Earth Realm village itself. You can see how it's... It looks like a grid, doesn't it? It's sort of broken up into squares. So along the top, that's the letters. The first square is A, then the next square is B, then C, then D. So D is as far as it goes up to for the Earthrealm village here. And along the left going down, that's the numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as you can see, we are in the first column and the last row. So the first column, that's the A column, and the last row, that's 6. So we're currently at A6. It's actually very important to know how to read the map like that because, you know, that's how you find out 
the location of hidden chests and so on. So, what else can you do? If you press the L1 button, that would just center the camera behind you. You don't really need to know that shit. And, okay, I'm going to tell you this, but I probably shouldn't. If you press the circle button, you will meditate. Okay, and basically what that does is, it speeds up time. You'll be doing that a hell of a lot. Trust me. And there goes Sub-Zero. Sneaky little fuck. Alright, now, let's talk to this guy, Apep. Hi, you must be Shujinko, the one Master Bull Raicho mentioned. I've seen you around before. You and your friends are always pretending to be famous warriors in that park over there. My name is Apep. Master Bo Raicho asked me to show you the other schools where he teaches martial arts. Follow me. Yep, so that's basically what we need to do here. We need to follow Apep and he's going to take us from dojo to dojo where we will train with Master Bo Raicho. That absolute fucking mess of a human being. But first, we're going to knock out some side missions. Let me just check in this park here if there's any coins. You'll find lots of loose coins just floating around. Make sure you collect them all. Okay, so side quest or side mission number one. Talk to this guy right here, walking with a beard. Oh, I should have taken better care of my teeth. My tooth is causing me so much pain. The local dentist is nowhere to be found. What should I do? Help this villager cure his toothache. All right. Now, I've got to mention something. This is actually one aspect of conquest mode, which really pisses me off, okay? If I press R1, uh, sorry, triangle to bring up my inventory. Well, actually, even if I press R1 to bring up the map, See, I mean, the thing is, it doesn't keep track of the side missions you've collected. You know, it doesn't tell you anywhere on the map screen. It doesn't tell you anywhere in your inventory screen. So you basically have to remember the side missions you've collected. That is unacceptable. But you can excuse it because it's so much fun playing this. And I mean... Really, they didn't even need to put this in Mortal Kombat Deception. This is a fucking bonus. Just having Conquest Mode. You know what I mean? So, I forgive it. Now, to solve this side mission, what you gotta do is punch this son of a bitch in the face. My... my tooth! You knocked my tooth out! The pain has gone away! Thank you, young man. You have done me a great service. Take this money as payment for your dental services. And there you go, he gives you some money. Awesome, 400 sapphire coins. Next side mission is this old lady here who's holding her back, struggling to walk. Let's talk to her. Well, hello there. You look like a nice young man. Please excuse me, but I have to go put my money in a safe place. Well, excuse me, but I want that money. Punch her, and you will get a key. Now, this key is the key to her house, which is right here. So, let's go inside. And as you can see, lots of coins to collect. So, that side mission is now complete. Holy shit, did we just kill her? She's not getting back up. Normally, if you just punch someone out, they get straight back up. Well, this isn't a good start, is it, Shujinko? You've just killed an innocent old lady. How do you feel about that? You don't give a shit, do you? Okay, so... We might as well go ahead and open this chest here. This will be Scorpion's alternate outfit. Yep, there you go. Now... See how it says Crypt Key? Basically how it works is, I mean, we've unlocked Scorpion's alternate outfit, right? But if you go into arcade mode now and press start on him, you will not be able to select his alternate outfit. What you need to do is go into the crypt and then use this key to unlock 
the KI coffin and then you will unlock you know Scorpion's outfit and then you can use it so that's how it works you get the key here you use the key in the crypt and then you know you unlock it and then you can use it whether that be an alternate outfit or whatever it stopped raining look at this I love how everyone's just walking over this dead woman's body like no one seems to care there's no rules in this place there's no laws this guy's obviously a guard he doesn't care I mean I can punch him out and oh <laughs> okay <laughs> all right the guards are smart they block and then punch you but I mean if you punch civilians like this guy if I can get over here where's a civilian oh, everyone's going to bed it's 10 o'clock at night okay never mind so usually at night time everyone goes back inside their homes and oh look there's scorpion where are you going disappeared into the bushes there yeah so I think at about six or seven o'clock maybe even eight o'clock everyone starts going back inside and it's just you left and during these times you can either just meditate to speed up time and you know make it 6 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning when everyone comes back out or you can do what I do during these times and that is to go inside all the houses and just collect the coins that are inside that's what I tend to do for the periods when it's dark late at night it's funny you can just go in anyone's home and just rob them take their money Shujinko is very bad. Definitely not a Earthrealm warrior if you ask me. First he punched an old lady out and killed her. Now he's going inside everyone's home and just robbing them. Okay, let's go inside here. Now I believe there's about seven dojos to train at with Bo Rai Cho and that's the second dojo there where Apep is standing in front of I will do it but just not yet you know I tend to like knocking out as many of the side missions as I can first before I go ahead oh nothing in there yeah before I go ahead and train with Bo Rai Cho let's open this this should be Bo Rai Cho puzzle fighter yep I just can't escape from this guy, can I? Bo Rai Cho, he's everywhere. Sneaking into my subconscious. Okay, I think we've gone in all of them. Did I go in here? No. Alright, let's get that. Oh, sorry, and I forgot to mention that you can <laughs> hold R2 to run really fast. Totally forgot to even mention that. It's just so normal for me, you know. I constantly hold it down to run all the time. But yeah, if you don't hold R2, he runs like this. But if you hold it, look how fast he goes. It's ridiculous how fast he runs, eh? He never runs out of stamina. It's amazing. But trust me, you want him to keep running like this because some of the worlds later on, especially Adenia, are just fucking huge. And to navigate takes a fair while, so running like this is basically essential. Okay, so I've gone inside all the houses. Now, you'll note here there's a guard standing at the bridge. Watch what happens when I approach him. Move along. This bridge is off limits. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that was quite excessive. I mean, saying move along was enough, don't you think? There was no need to fucking punch me like that. That was completely and totally unnecessary. I wonder if he does it again. Let's see. You shall not pass. Yeah, he just keeps fucking punching me. Alright, I get the point. I cannot go across. So let's go ahead and meditate, speed things up a bit to about 6 or 7 a.m. when everyone starts coming out. Maybe 7 a.m. Yep. Okay, now 
Next side mission. This guy standing here looking real paranoid. Talk to him. I am practicing ninjutsu, the art of stealth. Watch me disappear. You will never find me. Fuck you. Find the hiding boy. Extremely easy. Go back into this park here at the very beginning in the far corner. And there he is behind a tree. Talk to him. You found me. As a reward, I will give you this key. So he gives you this mysterious key. Now, I believe that opens this hut here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and you get 400 red coins, which is good. Okay, what's next? Talk to this guy here, he'll give us a quest. Oh, hello Shujinko. I lost the key to my house when we were playing Mortal Kombat earlier. If you see my key, please bring it to me. My parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. <laughs> playing Mortal Kombat earlier, come on. What the hell? That is just fucking ridiculous. Find the lost key somewhere in the park. Okay, so we'll go back to the park. And the key is right there. Let's have a look at it. Key. Key found in the park. It's very vague. Anyway, what you can do is, you've got two choices here. You can go back to the guy and talk to him. And in that event, he'll give you 50 coins. Random coins, whether they be red coins, green coins, blue coins, or whatever. Or, you can go inside his house. You know, use the key you got, open his door and take the coins from his chest. There'll be more coins here. 250 ruby coins, so that's what you're going to want to do. Now it's quite funny because I actually went into this house before even getting the key. How? You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't locked, I went straight in there. So this guy is just fucking a dumbass. Like his door was already open and he's telling me he needs the key to get in. Yet I already went in there before when it was dark. Anyway, next person to talk to is here. What do you want, Shujinko? I cannot find my brother. If you find him, tell him I am looking for him. My brother is lazy and needs to do his chores. I am not going to do his chores for him. Wake up the lazy boy sleeping in the woods. Okay, we can't do that one just yet, so... I'll ignore that for now. Talk to this old lady here. Hello, young man. Will you do an old woman a favor? If I can. I have much shopping to do, but I also need to deliver a note to the blacksmith. I will take it to him, if that is what you are asking. Oh, thank you so much. Here it is. I appreciate this very much, young man. Deliver a note to the blacksmith. Important note. Unfortunately, you can't read it. It just says deliver this note to the blacksmith. We can't do this mission until we have completed the fourth training mission with Master Bo Rai Cho. Speak to this lady here. She'll give us a quest. Who are you? Oh, Shujinko. The Lin Kuei have been recruiting again. I think my son has been initiated. If you see him, tell him to come home right away. Find a woman's missing son. Okay, and this is the same sort of deal with the blacksmith note mission. We can't complete it until we have done Master Borai Cho's training mission number four. Once we've completed that, then we can basically do those two side quests now have a look at this over here question mark I'm gonna get it and just show you guys what happens <laughs> the first time I got it I thought that I died you know what I mean but you just sort of become unconscious I mean let's have a talk to Apep you'll see Shujinko you are awake I was worried about you. Do you realize you were out cold for two days? From now on, you should be careful not to pick up everything you see, okay? Okay. So, the question marks, I believe, are either good or bad, but... I mean... Pfft, I don't know. 
I always collect everything, every question mark, but to be honest, I don't really see many of them. Earthrealm Village here is basically the only time I've actually seen the question marks. And trust me, there haven't been very many. Okay, let's talk to this guy here. Chujinko, can you help me? I ate some bad kimchi and I feel very ill. <laughs> Find medicine for the sick boy before 8 p.m. Okay, so to find the medicine for him, we've got to speak to his mother, which is this lady here hanging out the clothes on the line. What? My son is sick? Here, take this to him. And there you go, we got the bottle of medicine. Let's give it to him. And we'll complete that side mission. You saved my life. Thank you so much. I am in debt to you forever. I should not tell you this. But I have a great secret to share with you. Stand by the lamppost next to Bo Raicho's second dojo at 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. Keep an eye on the side of the house. When you see a great treasure appear there, take it. You will not be sorry. Okay, 4 a.m. Wednesday morning. Well, it's Wednesday. Let's meditate and speed it up. Oh, hang on. It's going to go on to Thursday. Okay. Fuck. Damn it. That sucks. Alright, there's no more side quests left to do in this immediate area. We can't go across the bridge yet until we complete the second training mission of Master Bo Rai Cho, so we'll do that now. Also, one more thing I need to mention is take note of this well here with the bucket. We'll need to come back to it in order to complete one of the side missions. Here it is. This is another of Master Boracho's classrooms. I think he's starting another lesson right now. You should go inside. I will wait for you out here. So let's go in and complete training mission number two. Every warrior has the potential to effortlessly link his or her moves into one long attack combination. For example, you can combine attacks by pressing square and square in rapid succession. Test your attack combo skills, execute the short form of this combo. Very, very basic stuff here. Nothing to stress about. You show the makings of a promising student. Not many of my pupils would have understood the technique of combining attacks so quickly. Now try the full combo moves. Even easier. Next, Shujinko, you will learn the might of the power attack. Power attacks do more damage than normal attacks. Most are performed by combining attack buttons with the directional buttons. Perform these power attacks so that I may see that you have learned. Uppercut, I always love that one. I will now show you the art of pop-up attacks. These moves will give you the advantage by keeping your opponent in the air long enough to execute a combo. Your opponent cannot block while being popped in the air. This is indicated by his blue fight state indicator light just below his health meter. Like power attacks, these moves are also performed by combining the attack buttons with the directional buttons. Now Shujinko, show me you understand pop-up attacks. done. Excellent. Now try to follow a pop-up attack with another attack while your opponent is still in the air. This is called juggling. Fuck, did it too soon there. Here we go. Fuck, come on. There we go. Mission complete. So that is the second Training mission of Master Bo Rai Cho done, and we can now go across the bridge. The guard is gone. Let's talk to Apep. Good, you are finished. Come on, let's go to the next class. Let's. So he basically just runs off to the next dojo, where you get your next lesson from Bo Rai Cho. 
So over there, that's training mission number three. But I'm not going to do it just yet. A few more things to do, a few more side missions to get. Now, I mean, you can talk to all these people here. Have I spoken to this guy yet? Thanks again. Do not forget. Oh, yeah, that was the sick kid. Yeah, I mean, you can talk to all these people, but most of them just talk shit. Greetings, Shujenko. How are you on this beautiful day? Like that. I mean, who cares? No one wants to hear that shit. So let's get straight into it here. Open this chest up. 200 platinum coins. And you'll see this guy here meditating. Talk to him. Hello there. You are the one they call Shujinko, right? I am studying the art of meditation. You should too. It will help you in the future. Let me show you how. Pressing the appropriate button will start you meditating. Yep. So there you go. Press circle to meditate. I already told you guys how to do that. So that's fine. Let's go in here. Just a coin. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, speak to this guy here. He'll give you a side mission. I am in so much trouble. I cannot believe that I pawned my wedding ring to pay my debts. Now my wife will not talk to me. I do not have enough money to buy it back from the merchant to whom I sold it. But if someone could get my ring back for me, I would gladly reward him with what money I have left. Reclaim the pawned wedding ring. Okay, this is very easy. Run straight back over the bridge and talk to the merchant with the balaclava on this guy. Would you like to buy a ring? Ah, never mind. You could not afford such a precious item. Yep, so he tells you you can't afford it, so what you need to do is punch him. And there's the ring. Grab it and take it back to that guy. You found it. How did you... Never mind. I do not want to know. Here is the reward I promised you. It is all the money I have left. 400 platinum coins. Awesome. Now, it's quite funny. If you go inside his house and speak to his wife, you get some pretty funny dialogue from her. Just have a listen to it. My husband told me he fought many men to get his wedding ring back. He is so <laughs> brave. Now I know why I married him. Uh, he was full of shit. Liar. Okay. Yeah, you can never go in there. Next side mission, we'll go over to where these three kids are standing. Talk to the one closest to the dojo. This guy. Hey, Shujinko. That bully Meko keeps taking our lunch money. I think he is in the park. I wish someone would beat him up and get our money back. Alright, so teach Meko a lesson. Now, he is all the way at the beginning in that park. He was that chubby fella walking around. We need to go teach him a lesson. I'm going to talk to him first. Oh, hey, Shujinko. Have you found those kids I was looking for? Yes, Meko. And they say you are bullying them and taking their money. And what if I am? What are you going to do about it? I am going to teach you a lesson. Fight! Yep. There you go. Punch him out. And there is 400 platinum coins for the taking. Now you're going to want to go straight back to that kid who gave you that side mission and talk to him again because he will give you a key to a locked hut. So let's talk to him. You defeated Mecco? That's great. Thank you. Take this key to my parents' hut. There should be a reward for you inside. Here, take this. Parents' hut key. Okay, and that will open this hut right here. Pretty much the one opposite the lake there. Let's go inside and collect the 140 onyx coins. Done. Now immediately outside of that hut you will see a guy here laying down. Press X to wake him up. Hey, wake up. Your brother is looking for you. <sighs> huh? What? I better get home to do my chores. Remember, that was a side mission we previously got, and I said we couldn't complete it until a bit later. More specifically, once you complete the second training mission of Bo Rai Cho. So we'll follow him back, and talk to him. 
Thank you for waking me up. Take this ninja star I found as a reward. And he gives you a ninja star. At this stage, I can't remember what it's used for. If anything, it might be a bit later on in the game. Don't worry about it now because it serves no purpose for the Earthrealm village here. Now, I don't think I mentioned what happens at 4am here on Wednesday. Basically, remember we gave this sick kid the medicine and he told us that secret about standing next to this dojo at 4am on Wednesday. You know, if you do, there'll be a secret awaiting for you to collect. Basically, all it is is 800 Onyx coins. So it's nothing major, you know what I mean? Nothing to get your hopes up about, that's for sure. Alright, we've got a few loose coins to collect here. Let's open this chest. This should be a stage, the portal. Yep, there you go. And it's getting dark now, so... Like I said, when it gets dark, I tend to just loot all the houses. So I've already been in that one. Let's go in here. There's Sub-Zero there. I might talk to him in a minute. You don't need to, but... I will anyway, just because it's Sub-Zero. What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. I have been instructed to search for able men and women to increase the ranks of my clan. You cannot possibly possess skills worthy of a Lin Kuei warrior. Or it could just be a regular Lin Kuei warrior, I'm not sure. Ah, oh, here we go, look, question mark. <laughs> that one gave us 15 platinum coins. Yeah, I think that's just a regular Lin Kuei warrior because we do meet Sub-Zero later on in the game. And you know how he looks in this game, he's got that Shredder outfit on, which is just bullshit, but at least it's more acceptable than that horrendous alternate outfit, which you saw me rage about in my playthrough of Mortal Kombat Deception Arcade Mode. 200 Sapphire Coins, good. We've been through all the houses on this side. Yep. Okay, now let's go through all the houses on this side. This one's always locked. Can never get in there. Oh yeah, you can only go inside that one during the day. There's an auction taking place. Let's go in here. Nothing. Fucking hell. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, and if you go in here, there's a lady that will give you a quest. So let's talk to her. I am glad you are here. There is a man who looks through my window each night at 2 a.m. I would be most grateful if you could scare him away for me. Yep, so 2 a.m. There's some creep that comes past her window and just stands here looking inside. So it's almost 2 a.m. I'll speed it up in a minute and we'll complete that side quest. Some jade coins there, good. And as you can see, another guard is blocking this bridge. We cannot get past him until we complete the third training mission of Master Bo Rai Cho. Alright, so let's do this side quest here. Meditate till about 2am. And there he is, this creep. This peeping Tom will come in front of her house and just look in the window while she's undressing. Look at him. What a fucking mess. Talk to him first if you want. You should see this. At 2 a.m. every night, the woman in this house undresses in front of this window. I think she is undressing in front of the window on purpose. <laughs> Alright, so all you gotta do is punch him out like that, and you will get 400 Onyx coins. Go back inside and talk to the lady if you want. You don't have to, but she thanks you. Thank goodness you took care of that peeping Tom. Now I can undress in private. Yep, so that's done. And I'm pretty sure I've gone in all the houses here, so let's meditate. To daytime. 
and I want to go into here, this auction house, and collect the coin. Talk to this guy. The coin in this auction is mine. I found it on a quest many years ago. It is said to be a magical item. <laughs> I wonder if it was that coin I just collected that I just stole. <laughs> the rare coin in this auction is priceless. I will outbid anyone to have it for myself. Okay. Must be a good coin. I'm not so sure the coin is authentic. It might be a counterfeit. Oh, that guy has his doubts. Alright, fuck that. So, let's go ahead and talk to Apep. Here it is. Master Bo Raicho says you are interested in becoming a real warrior. If you are going to be the best, you will have to train hard. It is not easy, but it is worth it. Go inside to watch the next lesson. I will wait for you. Okay, let's go inside and train with Bo Raicho. I will now show you the basics of defense. A defensive warrior can block an attack by holding R2 while his opponent strikes. You must now attempt to block four of my strikes. Pretty easy, just hold down the R2 button. Or Barai Cho swings at you like that. Look at him. Ah, very good. Absolutely unacceptable. Excellent, now block four low attacks. Same thing, just hold down and block. And that's done. Ducking below your opponent is an effective tactic to avoid high attacks. Duck under these three high attacks by pressing diagonally down and away from me on the directional buttons. Yeah, because if you just hold down, you'll sidestep, so you've got to hold down and back. And that is done. An excellent way to tire out your opponent is to evade his attacks. Evade three of my punches by quickly tapping up or down on the directional buttons as I attack. So this is pretty easy, you've got a timer there. So you know when to dodge. Oi! Oi! Mission complete, that was very short. Let's talk to Apep. Great job. You are getting good at this. Now follow me. Follow him to this guard here. The next class is beyond this bridge. We need to pay the toll to get across, but I have no money. We must find some other means to pay the guard. Get some ham from the butcher to bribe the guard. This is probably the most random thing in the game. Like, why ham? Why not just give him money? <laughs> I don't know. Would you prefer money or ham? Like, a hundred dollars or ham? <laughs> it's just... I don't know. Anyway, you talk to this butcher. He'll give you the ham. You're right. The guard at the bridge must be hungry. Please take this ham to him. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> Look at the ham. A tender slab of ham, loved by guards in Earthrealm. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Why ham? Out of everything they could think of in order to bribe this guard with, they come up with ham. Why ham? I don't get it. It just doesn't fucking make any sense. It's so stupid. Ham. I love ham. Thank you very much. Anyway, you give him the ham and the guard walks away. And now we go back to Apep. I do not know what you said to the guard, but it worked. He is gone now and we can cross the bridge. Let us go to the next lesson. Let us go? Well, I gave him ham. That's why he got out of the way. So, yep, Apep runs in front of the fourth dojo, where the fourth training mission with Master Borai Cho takes place. We won't do it just yet. Let's collect that. Unlocks Liu Kang's tomb music. Who cares? 
I don't really care about getting music in this game. Okay, let's go inside here. We'll get a quest from a lady. Oh, my back. I need some water to do my laundry. Would you be so kind as to fetch me a bucketful? Fill it up at one of the wells nearby. Fill the bucket with water from a well. And there you go, you got a bucket. So remember that well I pointed out earlier on? We'll go back there in just a second and fill it up with water. But first we'll go in here, get another quest. I am sorry, Shujinko, but I have run out of flour to make any pastries. If you could run to my storage room down the street and pick up a sack of flour for me, I will pay you some blue coins. Just bring it here when you find it. Locate flour for the baker. Okay, we can't complete that side quest until we have done the fourth training mission with Bowright Joe. So we'll leave it for now. Pretty much like the blacksmith mission and locate the woman's missing son side mission. Let's talk to this lady here. Young man, my dog ran away and I have not seen him in a few days. Please help me by asking people if they've seen my dog. There is a reward for whoever returns him to me. Find a lost dog. This is a pretty gruesome side mission. <laughs> it's very easy to complete. You just run up the street and go to this hut here. Talk to the man inside. A stray dog? Uh, yes, I, I found a stray dog. I am sorry, but I did not realize that he was a pet. I had the butcher cut him up for my dinner. I feel <laughs> awful. Here, take this. It is all that is left of him. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Dog meat. <sighs> anyway, you have to go back to that lady and give her what's left of her dog. This isn't going to be good. She's going to scream. Here we go. Any news about my dog? This is my dog? Oh yep. no! Nico! How could they do this to you? I promised a reward for whoever returned my dog to me. Take this money, young man. I thank you for your efforts. Oh well, I guess it is not a total loss. Will you join me later for some Nico stew? <laughs> <laughs> she seemed to get over that loss very quickly. Join me for some Nico stew. No thanks. Alright, let's open this chest here. What have we got? Oh yeah, that unlocks Kenshi. Awesome. So that is our first character we've just unlocked. Okay, let's go ahead and complete this... Uh, side mission where we got to get the bucket of water for that lady so we'll go all the way back to that well which was here just opposite the second training dojo press the use button on it and there you go you get a bucket of water brilliant <laughs> I love how you can just run into people they don't care and where was she? Oh yeah, the first hut just across the bridge. Thank you. Now I can finish my laundry. Take these coins. Go on, take them. Awesome. 400 jade coins. So that is that side mission complete. And now... It's not dark yet, but... I might as well go ahead and loot all the houses because there's no more... I've already been in here, sorry. Yeah, there's no more side missions to collect in this specific area. So I might as well just rob people's houses of their money. Oop. And if we go back here, we've got a few loose coins to collect and a chest. I think this will just be some coins. Yep, 250 ruby coins. Beautiful. And... Look at that. Did you see that? That looked like Jarek for Mortal Kombat 4. You had to be quick there in order to see him. 
Okay, let's go in here. Blue coin. 300 onyx coins. Excellent. Now this is annoying. You can't actually go inside the temple. Watch what it says. Only monks allowed in the temple. That's bullshit. You can try and talk to them, but they I won't the let you in. Ninja clan are recruiting again. Yeah, whatever. There are rumors that people have seen a spirit near the gate. A spirit near the gate? What the fuck are you talking about? No one may pass this gate. Oh yeah? Look, I just passed it. There isn't even a gate. What the hell are you guarding? What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so... We can't go across the bridge yet. As you can see, it's blocked. So what we need to do in order to clear the blockage is complete the fourth training mission of Master Bo Rai Cho. Here we are. As usual, I will wait outside. I've already learned these lessons anyway. Let's go in. Ah, oh, fuck. We oh, we can. Sorry. Yeah, usually at night time you can't. I think you've got till about 7 p.m., something like that. Just made it, I think. If you should become an accomplished warrior, you will likely have studied many different fighting styles. Each fighting style has its strengths and weaknesses. Weapons are also frequently used in combat. You will likely have learned to use many during your many years of training. Press the style change button to cycle through your current fighting styles. Ah, very good. <laughs> Just mash the L1 button there to go through them. Now strike me with an attack from each of your three fighting styles. I just hit the square button in each fighting style. There we go. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. That was an unbelievably short training mission. What a fucking joke. They could have crammed that into the third training mission. It is too late to start any classes today. Why don't you meet me here tomorrow morning at around 6? We can accomplish a lot if we get an early start. See you tomorrow. What? Oh, okay. He goes away. Well, why was he still standing there at this time then? What the hell? Anyway, just meditate to pass the time. Till about 6 a.m. I believe. And Apep should be there. Yep, there he is. Now we can talk to him. You are halfway done. Just one more training room before the main school. The bridge is clear now. Follow me. Awesome. So the bridge is clear. And now this is where we're going to knock out quite a few of our previously acquired side missions. So first things first. This is that blacksmith. Remember? We had to deliver this note to him. So let's do that now. What can I do for you? A woman asked me to give this note to you. A note? Let me see that. The note says that the fishermen outside the town have been robbed by a band of brigands. They will need new equipment as soon as possible. I will have to start working right away. Yes, yeah, so you don't really get anything from that side mission. You don't get any coins as a reward. Even if you go back and speak to that old lady who gave you that side mission, you won't get anything which is bullshit. Okay, and if you remember, we needed to collect some flour for some dude, so we'll go into this little shack here, and there it is. It's a sack of flour. See? A sack of flour. Flour used to make many baked goods. And if you remember, we spoke to a woman pretty much at the beginning of the Earthrealm village and she said her son was missing she feared he had joined the Lin Kuei this is her son here let's talk Hello. to him how are you did you need something from me your mother is worried sick she wants you to go home right away if you talk to her tell her you have not seen me awesome so he gives you a reward 400 sapphire coins okay now there is some more side missions to obtain here. Let's go inside this house and talk to any one of these people. 
My sister believes the stories our grandmother tells us, but I do not believe that Oni exists. Find proof that Oni exists. We'll do that a bit later. And if you go over here and speak to this woman hanging out her clothes, we'll get another side quest. Excuse me, but have you seen a bracelet? I think it was too large for my wrist and fell off. If you return it to me, I will reward your kindness with coins. Locate a lost bracelet. Okay. That's easy. I'll do that right now, actually. So run back. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it a bit later. First, I will just loot the houses. I know it's not night time yet, but... Fuck it. Fifty red coins there. Beautiful. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Let's go in this one. Green coins. Fifty of them. So this is a great way to rack up coins, you know, playing conquest mode. I mean, you can rack up coins playing arcade mode, but time flies when you're having fun and conquest mode is just so much fun, you know. You'll get heaps and heaps of coins just by playing through this. Okay, do I go in this hut? No, I don't think so. 60 green coins in that one. Some blue coins. And I already went in there. That was where the sack of flour was. Let's go in here. Okay, so I think we've gone in pretty much every single hut, house, and shack that we can go in. There might be some more stuff here. I think there's a chest. Or some coins, loose coins. Maybe I already collected it. Yeah, I must have already got it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just grab this loose coin here. Or loose coins, should I say. Okay, now... Meditate here till about 6 p.m. at night because there will be a guy that comes out and just stands in front of this house. There he is. Talk to him and you'll get a side quest. There is talk of Lin Kuei ninjas lurking about. I must not leave my post, but if you were to deal with them for me, I would reward you for your efforts. Locate five Lin Kuei before dawn. This is easy as long as you know where the Lin Kuei are located. So you basically just have to find them and punch them out, all five of them. So the first one is just past where these kids are fighting each other. There he is, punch him out. So that's the first one taken care of. The second one will be around here behind this hut. There he is, punch him out. Two down, three to go. And we'll run back over this bridge here and we'll take a right here. There he is. Punch him out. And we will go back across the bridge. And the fourth one shall be here. Four down, one to go. Now the last one is right at the very beginning. But while I'm here at location D5, see these two barrels here? Bang! If you press the use button on them, you'll find that shiny bracelet, which is what that woman was looking for. Remember, all the way up there, she was hanging out the clothes on the line. So we can go back and give her the bracelet now. Now the last Lin Kuei guy should be here. Yep, there he is. Punch him out. Fucking hell. There we go. They're all taken care of. And one more thing while you're here at the very beginning, meditate till about 12 a.m. And you will see an Oni walking about. Look at him. Look at the way he walks. It's like he's got a little strut dancing. You can't speak to him, but if you punch him, 
it will drop a tooth. There it is, an Oni tooth, proof that Oni exists. So now we can complete that side quest. So we're going good here, we'll go all the way back. Oh fuck, is that that creep? It is, he's gonna go look in her window again. Fuck you, no you're not. You just don't learn, do ya? Alright, so let's talk to this guy here. You have defeated the Lin Kuei ninjas. You have done me a great service. Take these coins, a full month's wages for a guard. 600 jade coins, awesome. Go in here, we'll complete the Oni side quest. Talk to anyone. I, I have never seen a tooth like that before. It is enormous. Maybe Oni do exist. Yep, 500 gold coins. So that's that side mission complete. And to complete the final one, we've got to meditate until this lady here comes out, hanging her clothes on the line. Yep, there she is. What happened to the coin there? It just fucking disappeared. Oh, you have found my bracelet. Thank you, kind sir. 400 ruby coins. Okay, so we are done for all the side missions in this specific area now and we can go ahead and talk to Apep I'm getting tired go on inside I will still be waiting for you out here so let's continue on with our next training mission with Bo Rai Cho lesson number five It is a well-known fact that when your opponent attacks, he is also vulnerable to your attack. You must be able to recognize this opportunity. Keep your eye on the red fight state indicator light below your opponent's health meter. When it lights up, he is exposed to your attack. You will do more damage to your opponent when the red light is on. Try to dodge my attack and then counter with another attack. This is easy. Fucking hell, what the hell. There we go. Come on! Done. Correct! Correct! Good. Now duck under my high attack and then counter with an attack of your own. So just crouch and then punch him as soon as he doesn't attack. Very easy. Done. Correct. I have already taught you combo attacks. These attacks can do much damage to your opponent. If you should find yourself being attacked by a string of combo moves, you cannot block after the first hit. There is a method, however, for breaking a combo attack. This is what is called a breaker. A breaker is performed by holding block and pressing toward your opponent with the directional buttons. Try to break my combo three times by holding block and pressing the directional buttons toward me. So just hold block and forward. Extremely easy to do breakers. Ah, very good. And there you go, that is our fifth training mission with Bo Rai Cho complete. Let's talk to Apep. You're back. Now let's try a few more advanced maneuvers. Follow me. All right. Ah. Last stop, the Earth Realm Academy of Martial Arts. Most of us call it fight school. This is where students learn the more advanced techniques. Some of the best warriors in Earth Realm have studied here. I am training in Tai Chi these days, but I hope to learn many more fighting skills. Someday, I want to be the greatest warrior in Earth Realm. I will show the real Shang Tsung who is the best and kick him all the way back to Outworld. Anyway, I have to go to class now, but I will see you later. I hope you decide to join our school. Bye! See ya, Apep. And now we can go in here. 
Don't even bother trying to open any of these doors, you can't go in them. Yeah, they'll always say this, class is in session, come back later. So what we need to do is go straight over to this green aura and take on the sixth training mission with Bo Rai Cho. Many of the skills you have learned can be used together. By combining fighting styles, you will truly become a master of Mortal Kombat. Linking fighting styles together will enhance your attack. Show me you understand by performing these style branching combos. Correct. By launching your opponent into the air, you leave your opponent vulnerable to combos. Try these pop-up combos. That was a nice combo. Got to try and remember that one. I am impressed with your aptitude for learning martial arts, Shujinko, but I must put you to the test to see if you truly understand the intricacies of combo attacks. Show me you can perform this advanced style branch combo. <laughs> As if that was advanced. That was fucking easy. Anyway, we've just completed the sixth training mission with Master Bo Rai Cho. And now we can go in here. And this is the last part of the Earthrealm village. And there are two more side quests to obtain. The first one will be from this guy hunched over. Talk to him. If you are interested in making a few coins, then I have a job for you. There is a vase lost somewhere in this town that is worth a lot of money to a client of mine. If you help me find it, I will cut you in on the profit. I mean, reward. Just bring it to me if you find it. Find a vase for the strange man. Okay, this is easy. The vase is located in this hut here, right next to the clothesline. Go inside, and we'll take that vase and the green coins while we're at it. So yeah, there it is, a rare vase that seems priceless. Go back and talk to the guy that's hunched over. Yes, this is it. You stole, I mean, found the vase. You have saved me quite a lot of trouble. As promised, here is your share of the, uh, reward. 400 jade coins. And the last side mission is obtained from this guy here wearing the white pants. Talk to him. Excuse me. I am training to be the fastest man in all of Earthrealm. Would you help me train by racing me to the end of this street? There is a reward for you if you beat me. Ready? Go! Alright, so you gotta quickly run. Pretty much run back the way you came from. And he's very easy to beat. Grab the 60 Onyx coins there. That's basically a reward. Have a chat to him. Congratulations. You have defeated me. <sighs> it seems I still have much training to do. Yep, and there we go. We have just completed every side mission in the Earthrealm village here. This is the last stretch, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up any remaining chests, loot all the houses, and then I will take on the final training mission of Master Bo Rai Cho, the seventh one. 200 sapphire coins. I'll open up all the houses on this side first. What the hell is this guy doing? Look at him. He's just staring at this fucking bucket in the well. What's he thinking? I want to talk to him. You know, I am glad we have these walls to protect us. What? Oh man, you're fucked. Platinum coins. Yes, I mean, you can go ahead and talk to all the civilians if you want. Some of them have interesting things to say. The majority of them, though, just talk bullshit, like, how are you, Shijinko? You know, who cares? Let's talk to this guy that looks like Raiden. 
If you were smart, young man, you would not venture past the gates. I never have. <sighs> okay. Some loose coins, and this will be something from memory. Yeah, okay, so that basically unlocks the Ying Yang puzzle arena in puzzle combat, so that's pretty cool. That's locked, okay. Now let's go ahead and loot all the houses on this side now. <laughs> I love how when you go inside the houses, there's just a, a table with a couple of chairs. Like, is that all they have? Beetle air music. No other furniture. No kitchen, no... I mean, look at this. This whole house, it's just got a wooden table and a chair. What do you? What would you do if you came into this house? What is there to do? Look at it. There's absolutely nothing here. All you can do is just sit in this chair and stare at the fucking wall. So when someone asks you how were your days off, you can just say I did nothing. And they say, oh, that's bullshit. You must have done something. And then you can say, no, I literally sat at my desk in a chair and stared at the wall. That really is nothing. I think that's a quote from Seinfeld as well. All locked, okay. Awesome, so we're done. Let's go up to this glowing green aura. Look at him. Look at that fucking mess. Bo Rai Cho, you horrible creature. I am sorry, Shujinko, but I cannot let you pass these gates. Why not? The walls of this town are here for a reason. To protect the citizens from foreign dangers. You are too young and inexperienced to venture outside. Return when you can prove to me that you have learned enough and I may let you pass. Yes, Master Boraicho. I will continue my training. Greetings, Shujinko. Who? What are you? Do not be afraid. I am Damashi. I am an emissary of the Elder Gods. The Elder Gods? Yes. They are the power that made this world possible, as well as many others. I have come to you on their behalf because they need your help. What kind of help do gods need? The Elder Gods are in need of a champion. One who could complete a quest to save the realms. Shujiko. Will you accept this quest to save all that exists? You will be a true hero. What if I refuse? Then I will find another. One of your friends, perhaps. The one who pretends to be Shang Tsung. No, not him. I will be your champion. What must I do? You must traverse the realms in search of items of great importance. But Master Bo Raicho will not let me outside the walls of the town. Not to worry, Shujinko. I will bestow upon you a great power, the ability to absorb the fighting skills from any fighter you encounter. This will give you the edge you will need on your quest. Go now, return to Master Boraicho, and show him you are an experienced fighter. I will, Damashi. Thank you. I will not let the Elder Gods down. Back so soon? I thought you had returned to the school. I am ready to prove that my combat skills are good enough. Oh, very well, Shujinko. Show me. <laughs> you know, as cheesy as this is, it's really enjoyable listening to the story of the game. I quite like it. Okay, so here we go. I highly doubt that you could have learned enough from the few lessons I have taught you. Spar with me to prove your skills. So what you have to do here is defeat Bo Rai Cho in two rounds of combat. Now I don't know any of Shujinko's moves, so I need to just make up some bullshit here. Forward circle, square triangle. Okay, let's try that one. Oop. I'm just going to keep spamming that. I remember that combo from the Shaolin Fist style, because I think Ming Lao had it. 
Team yeah. Deadly Alliance. What the hell? Fucking hell, are you kidding me? I'm just trying to do a jump kick. What is this? What other combos have we got? Look at that shit. Fucking hell. How can you remember all that? Square, 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 L1, triangle, circle, X. Right, I'm going to try that one. There we go. I think I did it. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, that was nice. Back. <laughs> what a throw. Oh no, he's got out this he's got his walking stick out, he's dangerous. Look at him. Die! Okay, just Just relax. It's okay. There we go. Mm. There we go. Done. Look at all the blood. It's like I just killed Bo Raicho. Alright, now, this is the moment where you need to make sure you've completed all the side quests, collected everything from inside the houses, got all the treasure chests and all that shit, because once you speak to Master Bo Cho there, you go into the next part of Earthrealm, you leave the Earthrealm village here and you can't come back. So make sure you have done everything before you speak to Bo Cho chest here. Should be some coins in it. Yep. I've done everything. I've showed you guys all the side missions. I got all the chests. You know, there's no... There's not really many hidden things at the very start of the game here in the Earthrealm village. Like later on, for example, some chests will only appear at certain times. For example, between 7 and 9 p.m. So there was none of that bullshit here in the Earthrealm village, but... That's all going to start pretty much once we go outside of the village. So, let's talk to Bo Rai Cho. We're ready to leave. Oh, I am most impressed, Shu Jinko. I had no idea you possessed such an aptitude for martial arts. I have no doubt that you will be able to handle yourself in the outside world. Thank you, Master Bo Rai Cho. You show great potential. I... I would very much like to train you myself. Perhaps I can mold you into the next great defender of Earthrealm. Train me personally? I would be honored. But first I have tasks to complete outside the gate. Not a problem. I train all my advanced students at my home down the road. Meet me there later and we will resume your training. I will see you there. Goodbye, Master Boraicho. Goodbye, Shuchinko. And there we go guys, we are complete of the Earthrealm village and this is basically outside of the village, we're still in Earthrealm though, but I will save this for the next video, so I'll see you guys then, I'm out.